What's up y'all? I have got my boxy Lux for September. I actually totally forgot that I was going to be getting this, but we're gonna see what we got. I have to tell you really quick, I am so disappointed. I plan to edit a video tomorrow that was Zach and I unboxing the Universal Yums box for the month and I totally forgot that I filmed it on my vlogging camera and I deleted it. Yeah, sorry, if you like those type of videos, I am very sorry. That's why there won't be one this month because my dumb ass totally just deleted it and we've eaten most of the snacks. Well, we actually threw some of them away. It was not a great month. Like all the salty savory stuff, oh, absolutely not. All the sweet stuff was really good. So it was just kind of weird, but yeah, I'm so, I'm so disappointed. I know not like a ton of people watch that, but I am disappointed that I won't have it for you. So yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, so Boxy Lux is their seasonal upgrade box that costs you around $50 once you pay the two prices. And I have to be honest, because I get boxes sent to me and because I do purchase them, like I honestly have too much, like I'm getting too much. So I was like, okay, maybe I should get rid of something. And I was thinking maybe this one. So I don't know, I may decide after opening this box if I wanna keep it for the next quarter. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, we have the Cab Cosmetics Contour Palette volume one i'm going to assume that volume one means there are other color variations so i'm assuming this is the fair one it says this goes for 60 dollars oh i have a couple of cab lip products that i do like i don't know about 60 dollars. i mean it does look kind of big though it's a matte contour palette with eight silky powders that blend effortlessly into the skin for perfect contour every time darker shades for a chiseled striking contour lighter shades under your eyes and other high points of the face for an instant lifting effect let's open her up um so it looks like you've got four that are like contour bronzy shades and then four lighter it has translucent vanilla nude and banana i mean i can kind of see that it's not i guess it makes sense this is definitely for very fair people because even i on the fair side would be dipping into like this shade this one's a little orangey but you know some people will need it for various uses like color correction um but yeah i don't know i don't know i never use the lighter shades in these contour palettes very often um i don't i never use banana powder it's just not the right shade for my skin or anything that i need to do um yeah, I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about this. It's not really my jam. Maybe it's just because I know that I will only use like two or three shades out of the whole palette that I don't find it that useful for me. It's not something I would spend my money on, but it's not bad. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm looking at volume two and it does have a lot of very warm colors and definitely a lot deeper. Um, I feel like there could still be a whole nother deeper palette, just in my opinion, because a lot of these shades are not going to be deep enough for those who have already a deep complexion who want to contour. You need to add shadow and darkness to be able to properly contour. So yeah, I feel like there needs to be a another volume, a third volume, or either, you know, I don't know, shift it around a little bit. But it's okay. I probably won't keep this for myself. I really just don't see the value for me with what I already have, but no, I mean, no hate. It's fine. I got the Adagio California Not So Many Flat Iron. I'm definitely not keeping this. I get hair tools for some reason way more often than I could ever need to replace them. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know. This just doesn't excite me. Um, of course, if you need a hair tool, it would be exciting. And if you can use this, great, then hopefully you got it. <laughs> um, but this goes for $99. I've never heard of this brand. That of course does not mean that it's bad, but it doesn't lend me to have like automatic trust in the product. Do you know what I mean? So $99 ceramic plates. It's got the infrared heat. I mean, those are pretty standard um helps to minimize damage floating plates i will say i do have a chi with floating plates that has lasted me 
so many years and the floating plates are nice if you like to curl with a flat iron i don't know i mean it just has to be something that you want or need in your collection for you to want it do you know what i mean i got bamboo body ball body polish from lifestyle co bamboo stem extract jojoba oil and aloe vera it's 100 percent natural paraben free sulfate free and vegan those are a lot of good things um to look for in products it goes for 49 dollars. it's pretty small um, for I would never pay $49 for a body scrub. It would have to be something just outrageously good. Do you know what I mean? And this is very liquidy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being like such a downer today. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see if this is sealed. I really don't want to open and, and like, oh, it's not sealed. Okay. What? It's got like a fine grain in it, but it's mostly like a liquid I don't even know how to describe this I'm gonna make sure it's not coming out it's very liquidy some people are going to hate me in this video but I'm just not feeling it you know what I'm saying um, anyway next up rare beauty eyeshadow palette I am excited for this this is confident energy eyeshadow palette and it has six everyday neutrals and bolds to reflect your true aura inspired by light and energy that surrounds us let's take a peek it has a beautiful packaging okay so there are no mattes in here that's kind of a downer for me just because i love mattes but if you were into the shimmers and the metallics then this might be like exactly what you're looking for but it's got a you know a few couple little neutral ish shades and then a few colors i do think it's pretty i want to try the formula so i'm just going to swatch this green one right here looks really pretty that's a really pretty color. I just don't normally do like an entire eye look and not use any matte shades whatsoever. So for me, this would either be like a, I'm gonna use one color, or if I'm going to use this, I'm going to use mattes from another palette, which can be a little tedious, um, but I do think that it's really pretty. I'm excited and based off of that swatch, well, I guess I can swatch a few more for you. Somebody's not gonna like it that I didn't. So four more and the fifth one. That's all the shades from the palette. They are really pretty. Nice and creamy. Next up, I got the Saturday Skin Pretty Pop Probiotic Power Whipped Cream. That sounds nice. I have really enjoyed some Saturday Skin products that I have had. Ooh, has like this iridescent metallic. I shook a little bit off the cap so that I can feel it. Ooh, this feels nice. Mmm, it feels very like silky creamy. I like that. I also got from the new Co Defense Drops. It says it's an herbal supplement. It's $35. It's a defense against getting sick. Oh, it's a tincture. Um, it's a blend of adaptogenic herbs, immunomodulating, immunomodulating extracts with a battery dyed. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> um, and I also didn't charge my other batteries. It's just one of those days, guys. But anyway, I got new Co Immunity Drops. These are a tincture that you're meant to just like swallow. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to be the person who complains today. This has like rosemary in it. Oh my God, I hate the smell and the taste of rosemary, but it has echinacea, it has other ingredients. So this is all to boost your immune system, which is a great thing to do right now, obviously. Let's smell. <gasps> I mean, it probably smells like some really fancy marinade for some chicken or something, but um, it's a no. For, I don't know how I can get, I could get through actually putting this in my mouth. I don't know. Will I try it? Probably not. Um, I do like products from this company, the Nuco, but I just don't know. I'm not one for um, weird tastes. <laughs> anyway, so on to the next. We got something from Froze. This is the Hya, oh Hya Activated Hyaluronic Acid, I'm assuming, lip scrub. And it comes in this little carton. And you have your lip scrub. It's got like a little pink packaging. That's what she looks like. It doesn't really say much about it. It's got sugar, strawberry, coconut oil, jojoba, hyaluronic acid, shea butter, vitamin E, vitamin C. That's some good ingredients. Oh wow, the granule, like this is like a big sugar crystals. It kind of reminds me of some kind of candy I've seen before. Not like the, the rock candy sticks, they're really bigger, but it's like some pretty big crystals. I don't know. 
So we gonna try that out. It just doesn't smell like much of anything. It's got this light little sweetness to it, but I'm down to give it a try. So I will definitely try that. I'm excited for that. We got one more item, the Iconic London Triple Threat Mascara. I do enjoy some Iconic London products. I haven't tried a whole lot, but I do like them. And we have a nice little sleek, slim mascara packaging. It's kind of simple, but it's pretty. Ooh, it's got a very slim brush. Like the bristles are pretty short and compact, like close to the brush itself. So I will use it. I'll definitely give it a try. I am getting to the point where I used to get so many mascaras and gratis when I worked at Sephora that like I hated receiving mascaras. But now it's like, okay, I don't get that many. So if I get the occasional mascara, I do get excited about it now, which is nice because mascaras are a common thing to get in subscription boxes. So all in all, okay. Let me back up too because I totally didn't tell you prices. So this goes for $35. The mascara is $26. A little pricey for mascara, but it's okay. And then Froze Lip Scrub, this is $16. That's pretty reasonable. I think everything else I might have told you, Saturday Skin is a $57 moisturizer. And I think we talked about everything else. The Rare Beauty Palette is only $25. So I think this is a $367 value for 50 bucks. Um, I just have to say though, like I honestly, I'm usually pretty like at the end, even if I don't like a lot of the products, usually by the time I get to the end, I'm like, oh, it was worth it. You know, I still got my money's worth. I will say in this instance, I, yes, you get your money's worth in terms of like how much you got. I just think that a lot of these things are just like really overpriced. This body polish is leaking a little bit. It is, it's like liquid with a little bit of grain in it. It's weird. Um, but anyway, I just feel like there's some really overpriced stuff. Like this is so overpriced. A little mini straightener for $99. I mean, if it's good, that's not that crazy. But if it's not good, you know, that can go either way. Um, I think the face palette is kind of ridiculous, just to be honest. That's just my personal opinion. Think what you will. Um, that is nothing to say about the formula because I have not tried the formula, so I cannot speak to that. But I feel like this time, um, I'm not really excited about very much like the mascara and the moisturizer from Saturday Skin are about the only things that I can say I'm truly excited for. Um, the Rare Beauty palette is pretty, but it's not a very expensive palette. It's only 25. So while I have it and I'm going to try and enjoy it and see what it's all about, um, I don't know. It's not something I'd really pick up because it all shimmers and it's just not my personal thing. Um, the tincture is just kind of a no for me. This body polish is a little bit weird. It says to apply this to wet skin, but it's already so liquidy. Like, you hear that? <laughs> So I hate to sound very negative. I know that I'm not very positive in this video, but there's just not a lot in this box that I am excited for. But I wanna hear your guys' opinions about the products. Um, now, please remember that it's perfectly fine to disagree. There's nothing wrong with me saying I don't like a product or that I'm not excited about something or that it's overpriced. I'm not here to promote products. I'm here to unbox and be honest with you. Um, I feel like lately some people are forgetting that like I am just a normal person putting my opinions out there so they are mine and I'm the one who makes the video <laughs> and for this video I am the one who makes it I'm the one who makes the decision so if I don't love it it's no big deal and if you guys like the products I don't like it's totally fine we just have different tastes different opinions that's all so I hope you guys enjoy the unboxing anyway sorry it was a little bit frantic this has been quite a day I am so ready to take my makeup off and curl up in the couch. This is one of those days where you just wanna like press restart. Like, I think I'm just gonna restart tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna be a better day. I'm 100% sure of that. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and I hope your day, no matter what your day was like today, I hope your tomorrow is better. And I hope you guys have a really great night and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.